Hey everyone, my name is Kevin and this video is sponsored by EA. Thank you EA for sponsoring the video. I just wanted to let you know that Command & Conquer Rivals is free to download in the App Store. It's a new real-time strategy game for mobile with intense 1v1 matches. If you like the game, tune in on January 12th at 7pm PST to watch the launch celebration where top YouTubers battle it out at twitch.tv slash cncrivals. Click the link below if you want to download the game. Anyway. On with the video. Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on the PS2. I've been meaning to go back to this for a while, I'm sorry for those of you who've been asking me for it. Ran into a bit of trouble, had to start my game again and get up to the same spot. And we're here as uh, everybody's favorite boy wizard, Ronald Weasley. <laughs> he almost looked shocked himself, he put his arms up in shock. Alright, let's get going. I have no idea where I'm going, but let's get going. <laughs> I imagine this is how Ron thinks anyway. Oh shit, sorry student, I'm trying to figure out what my task is. Don't know about you three, but I'm going to do a bit of exploring. I can't understand him, I assume it's a threat since I just attacked him for no reason. Oh, okay, go to the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom on the third floor. I can do that? Oh, feck, is this one I've already done now that I think about it? I like how they've locked every other door in the castle. It's like, no, if you're not Harry, Ron, or Hermione, you're not allowed in. No other student day matters. Not to mention these stairs are closed off. And that guy's left with a poor task of guarding that stairs, even though there's nothing connecting to it. He's like, yeah, sure, you're a head boy, yeah, you're a prefect, yeah, you go guard the feckin' landing where no one can even access. You're really important to the school. Dumbledore sniggering like <laughs> Slytherin. So stupid. <laughs> I would like you to go in there and bring back the Glacier Spellbook. Oh, I've already done this! Fair enough, I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, you who, Ronald? Yep, you were, uh, trying to lift something over here. Uh, I believe Harry's helping me. Oh no, he's feckin' idling too, okay. I love Hogwarts, where the real magic is when someone feckin' helps you for once. Oh, I actually had to ask them. It wasn't obvious with me standing here at all, actually, now that I think about it. I just love touching metal. I'm not jumping off there. I'll leave that to Harry. Oh yeah, okay. This is slightly dangerous. I'll leave it to Harry. He is the boy who lived after all. I'm sure he can do it again. Uh, Hermione, could you move? <laughs> You're ruining the feckin' cinematic. <laughs> you just ruined my immersion so much. Alright, get your big head out of the way and let's do this. It just burns a hole through the back of her skull. <laughs> Look at her feckin' standing next to that chest doing feck all. She doesn't know what she's doing. How is she the smartest kid in school? <laughs> yeah, we're having a fun class just picking on Hermione. Usually I'm picking on Ron, so this is kind of a nice change actually. He's probably so relieved. <laughs> ah, for feck's sake, pixies have me. I, I don't know how to get out. You know what? Just swap character. Leave him deal with that stuff. Crawl away, Hermione. Crawl away. Oh, she won't do it. Why does she have to be a good friend? If that was Ron or Harry, they would have just ditched. Look at them, just standing there waiting for help. They're just looking up to God like, if you exist, come save us, please. We are main characters after all. Now they're just walking into the fire. And with that glorious smile, we are done the class. That's how I feel. Not the smile, like Hermione down there in the corner. <laughs> That's how I feel. Ah, uh, the only thing better than that class is doing it the second time. Come on, Harry. It's potions next. Okay, we're off to potions. Thank God. I th never thought I'd say that, but thank God. Finally get to see that glorious Snape with his lovely hair and his lovely voice. Oh look, the stairs opened. You finally get your 15 minutes a day where you're actually useful. And what do you actually do? Professor Dumbledore has ordered us to stand guard on the grand staircase. Yeah, you're obviously the most important students in here. <laughs> Only the most powerful wizards get to stand guard in the staircases that can't even be used. God, do you guys like pay to go to the school? <laughs> I think someone lost a prefect badge around here. Oh, there it is. I see it. I like how they're like, I lost it at the hourglasses. And then it's just right there at the hourglasses. I guess since it is a prefect badge, they're probably busy guarding stairs with no one on them. They got a busy day, folks. You don't have time to be collecting your lost belongings. But not to fear, because this is Harry Potter and the Lost and Found. And I just put the found and lost and found. You should be in class. Go straight there. No wandering off. 
It's too dangerous. And then I immediately wander off. <laughs> what a useless prefect. I can see maybe the best ones are guarding the stairs. Of the Wigan tree. What the hell is he doing? What, what was that? That was so intentional. He's like, if I kill him off, then I'll be the main character. You will. Hurry! What the hell is going on? Why does Snape look like that? It looks like a Sims character who had all his sliders pushed to the right. <laughs> it's like you started with Snape and you ended with that. Drag him to the front of the class. Look, Professor, he's fine. <laughs> Bring him here. Yeah, I'm getting there. Mr. Weasley, stop messing about. Ah, come on. This is the one time people are focusing on me instead of Harry. <laughs> Give me this one thing. Bring Potter here. Now. All right, we're almost there. Just gonna take the scenic route through the Slytherins. Here is your responsibility now, you take care of him. <laughs> you just slump him over like that? Look at him, he's so defeated. There's gotta be some spell to make this easier. And surely at least Snape would know it. Pick up both vials of Wiganweld potion from the table. There we go. And drink up, Ron. Now stand close to Potter and administer the potion. Eh, just drink another one. Why can't I drink it myself? I'm just attacking the class and he still refuses to discipline me. Snape isn't that hard of a teacher after all. I'm coming for him next. If he's a pushover, I may as well take advantage. Yeah, you know, I think I might be onto something. This guy doesn't even look like Snape. I don't think he is Snape. Give the potion to him. All right, feckin' drink it. If you love Harry so much, then why don't you just secretly take care of him for seven books or eight movies? <laughs> Got him. Look at his walk. That is not Snape. It's obviously some theater student. Like, he can walk the walk, talk the talk, but he cannot look the look. Ready for my next lesson. I think I just tried to use a Vada Kedavra on uh, Ron there. <laughs> he swung, but it just didn't come out. It's like, hmm, maybe I'm not evil enough yet. In time, Harry. In time. Class dismissed. Who the hell were they modeling him on? Could they just not get his likeness? Is that the problem? They couldn't make him look like Alan Rickman? Thanks a lot, Weasley. What? What did I do besides assault all of I'm you? I'm really sorry. Well, I'm exhausted. She is being the Ron. That's what Ron says. He does feck all and then he's exhausted. What is wrong with Hermione? What do you think, Harry? Harry? Okay, he just didn't answer. <laughs> Uh, all right, I guess whatever Ron spilt on him had more of an effect than we thought. Just feckin' end the day. <laughs> Just go to bed. Still don't answer. Just sit there awkwardly, awake at night, thinking about how awkward you were. The house point totals are to be counted. Oh, look how excited he is. He's gonna be disappointed when he finds out I've been assaulting everyone. Oh no, we're still doing great somehow. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I think there might be a bit of bias going on here. You've got to help Neville! What? Who the hell are you? Neville was wandering around on the fifth floor, and Malfoy's lot found him and locked him in the Muggle Studies classroom. And they've released a ghoul. How do you know all this, and why are you coming to me? Isn't there some sort of, you know, authority figure in place to help with this? <laughs> Here, here's your lost badge. Oh, Ron, please give me some space for once. Look at him. He jumped away from him. He shocked him. Wow! I remember a last scene near the stone circle in the grounds. Can we go now? Jesus, you don't seem to need it. You have no problem remembering where it is. Okay, he's on the fifth floor. Okay, I can do that. I can get there. Oh, wait, no, I already am past it. Okay, <laughs> maybe I can't get there. God, good thing there's no one guarding it at night. The one time people would probably try and sneak around and when the staircases are actually open. It's like, look, we don't have the resources to guard it all the time. Let's just guard it when the staircases are closed and not accessible. Did you see his Potter and Weasley? Look at them. There's more feckin' kids wandering around here. We really need to work on our school. Okay, I didn't even get close to him. I just broke stuff. Look, he's enjoying it. He's eating the pumpkin from the inside out. <laughs> Why doesn't Voldemort just use this? It'd be very effective. Like, he'd catch him in no time. And plus, it's a lot more fun. The problem with a Vada Kedavra is it's just over. You know, why use anything else? If you had something fun like that, it would make the battles more interesting. Like, you see Dumbledore and Voldemort fight. They have all cool spells. But then you just see other people fight. It's just a Vada Kedavra. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> it's just like having a gun, pretty much. It's basically, why do fancy sword play when you can just shoot the guy? You know, that's what it's like. Oh, I got some house points for beating up some students. I love Hogwarts. 
Oh my god. That is beautiful music. It's like Jim and his band. I forgot there was fucking magic guitars. Very bad magic guitars. This must be made by like a muggle magician. And not even a good one. Kind of one you'd see on a cruise ship. Just leave me alone. I forgot there was ghouls in this game. They look terrifying. Not as terrifying as the one on the PS1. Jesus Christ. Remember that? I need a flashback, people. <laughs> Okay, he's just violent. Okay, there's no need for this. Hold on. Let me get some magic to deal with you. How can I deal with a ghoul? I could smash shit. Okay, I can't. I still like causing him pain. Neville, I think you can just hop down and we can just run out of here. He's not really doing much, to be honest. Let's see why you're cowering so much. Yeah, you're just making yourself a sitting duck up there. Oh my god, he got out! He got out! He's terrifying! Never mind! Let me try that! Let you try what? What do you have to do? Look at him, he's still being murdered in the background there. He said let him try something, but I don't know what he's on about. Oh, okay, he's just opening this now all of a sudden. Yeah, it needs Ron's genius to open that. It's okay. I'm alright. Even the ghoul is like, dude, what the hell? Why are you bringing him along? He needs a permanent caretaker. You're in the way. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. I'm feckin' Ron. Uh, I think I just got kamikaze. <laughs> don't remember this part of Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Curse of Pearl Harbor. Ah, yes, the glowing book. That's probably it. Oh, for feck's sake, what have I waken now? Or woken? I am woke. Oh no. Oh my god. They're so frustrating to deal with. You gotta light them up and then you gotta, well, light them up, but in a different way. You see, even Ron knows how to move out of the way when it's a cutscene and light is supposed to shine on something. Hermione is being a proper Ron this episode. <laughs> Oh my god, what is this? A rubber duck. <laughs> Harry, you deal with the crazy ghoul, I'll deal with the rubber ducks. Okay, that duck just suicided. <laughs> rather than spending time with Ron, I'd rather die than be your toy. <laughs> to be fair, I'd duck the responsibility too. <laughs> okay, this toy isn't as cool as a rubber duck. Is this a boss fight? Is this Toy Story? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that thing is way more fierce than Voldemort. I'm gonna call this thing he who must not be named. He hits me every single time, but I just absorb it. I just accept that he's gonna hit me with missiles because it doesn't hurt me all that much. Look at Harry just standing down there with the ghoul. Why is it not attacking him all of a sudden? I think they've made friends. He's discovered that that ghoul is essentially Ron. <laughs> just a better version, more hygienic. Oh, I probably gotta bait him in here, right? Stop that. It's not doing any good. No, I like it. Oh my god, it's so scary, dude. Do you think I'd have to do something else, like not just assault this poor thing? Let's try blinding him. It's working! Oh, it is working. Okay, hold up. I want to get him in the cage with him and just see what happens. Come on! Can't you look- Wait, what? Okay, we've wrangled him. Harry somehow slipped out though, it's kind of upsetting. Oh, thank God, Ron was here to save the day, right everyone? <laughs> Turns and it was Ron who said it. <laughs> Neville didn't even say feckin' thank you. He doesn't care, and why is that noise constantly going off? Oh, I literally have to walk him back to the common room. I bet I have to tuck him in and everything, read him a bedtime story. <laughs> this one is called Ronald Weasley and the curse of being outshined by your friend at every single moment of your life. We need to find her. Oh, we found her. <laughs> what a beautiful lady. Did she say who did it? Oh, yes, Professor. He got very angry when she wouldn't let him in, you see. Nasty temper he's got, that serious black. Wow. What a twist. I did not see that coming. I know you're all still very worked up about what's happened, but my advice would be for you all to go to bed. Yeah, exactly. If you die in your sleep, you won't even know it. Good night, Professor. <laughs> On that absolute bombshell, I guess it's time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed the adventures of Ronald Weasley and co. He's some man, I'll give him that. He's some man for one man, as they say. But yeah, we're gonna end it there. Oh, my friends just left me. Okay, bye. Bye, friends. I... Yeah, it was fun hanging out with you. <laughs> Even they can't stand me. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, I hope you enjoyed, folks. Appreciate you watching, as always. And I will see you next time. Bing! For now.